talk about the life cycle what are all the models so rather than we why we need a model rather than defining our own life cycle there are some models already there i need to just see that uh, which models is suitable for this particular kind of requirements so if we if we know the model better way and if you also know the requirements uh, i need to just map my requirement into the model and choose the best available for that we need to know what are all the uh, models available the best famous uh, the famous uh, project life cycle model is called as waterfall model so as the name indicates uh, a waterfall as the water flows from top to bottom so we move from requirement to design and design to coding and coding to testing we need to be, you know understand that the water will not flow from uh, bottom bottom level to the top level this is actually called water it's a very simple model and uh, you know everybody knows about it actually but uh, there are a lot of advantages uh, it is very simple to follow but it is also very difficult it is a simple model is simple but uh, you know in the design phase the customer is asking uh, for a change the requirement what do you need to do so i cannot go back i need to completely finish the requirement and uh, then before starting the design so you need to be very careful not to go back if at all go back then finish it and then so this kind of things are called a waterfall model the next one is uh, iterative what is iterative doing the same thing again and again just now we discussed about it uh, the requirement phase is getting executed multiple times for example i take a module so module one requirement then design and then coding and the module two i need requirement design coding testing so this is called a iterative the requirement phase is executed multiple time so design phase is executed multiple times so coding phase is executed multiple times so why because i am going by module by module when i go from module 1 to module 2 i am also refining the module one also that's a different thing so module 1 to module 2 we repeat the requirements so first one you see this this is a module one requirements and this is module two requirements and then module three requirements so the module one moves from requirement to design to testing all right so this is model or module two model two will go in this phase so this is since it is going in iterative way that is actually called the iterative model then incremental what is incremental incremental means uh, addition of the functionality whereas in iterative the fine tuning or uh, we do the same thing again and again when i say incremental incremental means uh, addition functionalities are getting added continuously that is actually called a incremental for example you see the system analysis design see here also we talk about design and here also we talk about design right so you see the build build also getting executed multiple times see here also build here also build we talk about test here also test and here also test this is for <coughs> called the incremental module when you say increment the, the it is actually added incremental means or addition addition of modules that is called the incremental 